Hey guys, welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today I'd like to talk about DaVinci Resolve, the free version and the studio version, which I have right here. I purchased the activation key. The older versions used to take a dongle, a USB dongle, but this version, you just insert the activation key in your uh, computer and it'll unlock the, uh, the features of DaVinci Resolve Studio. I'm gonna be taking you guys through some videos in the future about all the features like the HDR grading because I do have HDR material. Um, I'm gonna look at the 3D stuff and uh, all the FX plugins that are not not allowed to be used. They give you watermarking on the light version. So um, I'll do some uh, noise reduction and I'll take you through all the features and then you can decide for yourself whether you wanna purchase this version or not. I heard in the uh, studio version there's more uh, support for GPU acceleration when it comes to your graphics card. So, and I would like to check out the export features to see if it can do HEVC import, which I won't know until I actually install it later tonight and try out the features. So, anyway, I'll be making some videos on this in the future. So, I've been I bought this program for my new podcast that I've been putting up online, and uh, I found that the tools that are included in this software package are pretty good. I like the Fairlight Audio. I like uh, the uh, Fusion for the animation titles and the editor is pretty nice. Easy to cut and edit your video and export it. So I found the export features are kind of, they didn't work too good for me. So I use an encoder of my own and I cover that in the other videos on my channel. So uh, but this used to be a thousand dollar program and then they dropped the price to $2.99 and then they included color grade, audio, uh, fusion, and uh, I guess the audio is called Fairlight Audio. And it's pretty amazing stuff. I used to use Adobe Premiere and uh, when they updated to support Intel's uh, acceleration with your GPU, I found that they changed the text editor in Premiere, Adobe Premiere, and I didn't like it. Like, um, it seemed pretty, uh, it was weird, the interface. But this one here, the text editor is really nice. And the graphics, and it's easy to animate your text and add camera angles and shadows and uh, 3D light and all that. So they really did a good job with this program. So I'm sure you guys watched many tutorials from other users. Um, so when I install this, I'm going to take over the computer and show you how to install this. It's very simple, and I'm going to blank out my key because I don't want you guys to know my key. And then uh, we'll take you through some tutorials on, on the features, and uh, especially the HDR stuff, because I'm sure people are interested. There's not a lot of videos on the HDR, so I'll take a couple of my uh, UHD HDR movies, and I'll put them into DaVinci, and I'll do some grading on them, and I'll show you guys how, how this works with the HDR color grading. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we'll go over the computer before we cut this video short. I'll show the installation, the activation key, and uh, we'll uh, end it there. So anyway. Okay guys, we're back at the computer screen here. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Blackmagic website and download DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you're using the free version, you can't upgrade that. You have to actually uninstall it and install the studio version. So once you watch this little graphic here, you'll see the download button. Kind of excited I got, I purchased this software. It's working pretty good so far. And you can just click on Windows and then type in your serial number, which I'm not gonna show. And then you're gonna download it to your Windows. It doesn't take long to download, it's an actual really small file. And then we're going to unzip it. And unzip it to any uh, to hard drive you want. And once that's done, we're just going to shut this down, move it over. And load up where the file is. Let's click on the EXE. And we're going to want to check all these options. the install button. 
Now I sped this up a little. It's gonna take a little longer than what it is here, but to the uh, magic of video editing, it'll install really quick. Now the purpose of this video is to show you uh, about the activation because a lot of people don't understand that like the new key activation is a little different than the dongle. So we'll show that once we load it up here. Okay, let me press OK, put it down. And we're going to load DaVinci Resolve Studio 15. And once it's done loading, you're going to have a key spot. You're going to enter your key code that you get in the package. And then once it's entered, you're going to press the activate button. And that'll activate this version for this PC. And you only got to do it once. And uh, once you get into the software, you can actually deactivate it. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. We're just going to load a simple project. And uh, with the studio version, you get a whole bunch of FX stuff, noise reduction, and uh, support for multiple GPUs. So I'll be looking into that in the future. I'll be making some videos on some of the extra features in here when I get around to it. Anyway, we're going to go up to the top. Now, if you want to switch PCs, or if you have your Windows system crash, you can take this software with you by pressing the deactivate button. And this will deactivate the zero, or the key code. So you can install this on any other computer, and take it with you anywhere you go. So it's a one-time activation, unlimited updates. Now, you don't have to repay for updates. So I, get, I have this software for life, not like Adobe Premiere. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this simple video to show you guys the new activation system on DaVinci Resolve. This also has Adobe Vision 2 in the corner. I'll have to look into that one. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.